Okay, well my microphone should be on now. And guess what? I did not plan this stream whatsoever. So this is gonna be fun. And since I didn't plan this stream, a million things can go wrong. Like, for example, right now, someone is currently doing chores in my house. Therefore, there's a lot of noise in the background. But the reason why I'm doing this stream is because yesterday, apparently a game that I've been looking at a little bit, not too much, called the uh, Jensen, I think, I think I'm saying it wrong, Jensen Impact, right? Is anime game, right? I'm assuming it connects with some sort of bullshit on some mobile game that the studio that made this made a while ago or some bullshit. I don't know. I don't care. So I was just going to try it. Anime, MMO, free to play. Why not? Fuck it. And then I did play a little bit of it. Right? So unfortunately you won't see the opening cutscene. Right? And by a little bit, I mean I literally played like two minutes of it. And then I said, oh. Oh no. This shit is un unapologetic. This game is literally just Breath of the Wild. But anime. Right? So, here we are, playing Anime of the Wild. It's great. It's an amazing game. It's great. Um, <laughs> God, fuck, this game is unapologetic, I swear. Who knows? Might be a good game. Might not be a good game. Only, uh, only whatever the fuck happens within the next hour or so will tell. So... I'm assuming this game is an MMO, supposed to be an MMO, but what's questionable is that you don't, you don't make your character, you have to choose one of two twins, you know, boy or girl, or whatever, they both look exactly the same, they're twins, um, and apparently I guess you'll get access to other characters, either, either through slaying over it, a la fucking... Warframe style, I guess, or or just buying your way into it, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, there's a fucking airplane going over my house right now. That's great. But, here we are. Literally, we start the game down this hill over here or whatever. By the way, look at that stamina bar. Isn't it beautiful? Return to quest point. How about you fuck off? But down here is like a beach or whatever. Apparently your character... I guess it's like an isekai or some bullshit. They're from a different world. I guess in a world where they have anime power still or whatever. I don't know. You went to fight a god. God kicked your ass. Uh, said something about humans suck. And then, um... And then you've been here for two months and you met this very fuck. The reason why my health is low is not because I'm bad at this game. Who knows? I might be bad at this game. But it's because I did this just to test something out. Maybe That's what I did. I and I was like, okay, so there is fall damage, right? Fell to death. Always ask that your stamina levels were climbing. Yeah, sure. Why not? By the way, you may have noticed by now, this game makes Breath of the Wild sound effects. This game is unapologetic. Oh, here's the start point. This is where you start, right? You talk to your little anime fairy. This is your uh, teleport spot. So they tell you, to fucking run over here, climb up that rock, and they tell you that how your stamina works. By the way, attacking doesn't decrease your stamina. That's interesting. But, you know, you breath of the wild your way up here. That's what you do. And then you run over here. You see some apples on a tree somewhere. You hit the tree with your sword, and the apples fall, and you pick them up. Also, to recover your health, you need to cook in this game. Is that not enough to fucking convince you that this game is so unapologetic? Oh, I can't pick these up? Okay, cool. They're glitching out. That's crazy. Um, and then, another cutscene plays where you get here, in which, just like Link getting out the fucking tunnel, you get a nice view off this cliff. There's the pond. Right next is like some temple bullshit. So... Yeah. If you're not convinced that this game is Breath of the Wild, then yeah. 
So let's move on with our merry selves. Who knows? Maybe this game will be. Maybe at some point we'll have some originality besides anime. Right? Return to quest point. What? Oh, I guess I gotta talk to the little fairy. Paimon is her name. By the way, the twin you pick doesn't have a name. You named them on your own, so whatever. Maybe I wasn't meant for this world. You know what? That one was actually a mistake. I jumped to like just get a little bit of speed. Didn't think my speed would carry over. That one was a legit death because of stupidity. That was embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So this time, I'm not going to kill myself, even though I want to. Huh. Alright. So far, I haven't found any, like, lock-on button, though. Yes, I know return to the... Oh. Wait, can I just... I can just literally teleport to where... Oh, that's nice. Cool. Also, it made a Zelda teleport noise. That was great. Okay, what about it? Over the world. How many? Is it like 300? Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's the reason why. Okay. So let's go, Paimon. Where the fuck... Did she just fly by herself? We all know poetry and oh. language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Isn't that what uh the King of Hyrule said? He's like, there's surely someone who knows you in fucking Kakariko. Also, I highly doubt any char any character in this world would know my character because my character literally just said that he's been stranded here for a year and he came from a different world. Does that take stamina? Let's see. Oh, yes it does. It's not Breath of the Wild, guys. I promise. Let me guess, if I do enough bullshit, I can increase my health and or stamina here? At this goddess statue, with wings, and they're holding an orb, and now I'm absorbing the orb. Mm. Zelda! Also, look at this Zelda-ass map. Is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. Ooh, did you just feel the elements of the world? No, I think I collected a spirit orb. Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. Well, at least I don't gotta do a bunch of bullshit trials. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. This can't be good. It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. Fuck the gods! And fuck you! If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom! Oh, that sounds cool. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of animal. Man, I never would have guessed. What gave it away? The big ass fucking windmills in the background? God! So the god of animo you can find some clues there there are also lots of bards there so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister i saw my sister get crushed into a goddamn cube let's move then the elements in this world responded to your prayers and paimon thinks that's a lovely sign my prayers i just touched a statue <laughs> fuck out my way Creature? What what just happened? Oh, is this tutorial time? Wind blade. 
Oh, that's cool. Okay. Anime. Got it. It has a cooldown. That's nice. So, I'm assuming this game is supposed to be, like, MMO-ish. And you can also do... There's an option in this for co-op. I'm not sure if this game's on the Xbox as well, but it's on PlayStation, and I believe it's also on PC, and it's free to play, so I guess you can try that whenever the fuck you guys feel like it. Also, look at this Breath of the Wild-ass grass. I love it. To unleash element burst. Oh, that's not bad. Sweet marmalade. To call up Paimon, then view the control set. Okay. World level. The world level will increase along with your adventure rank, granting you more bountiful treasures from your adventures and from Leyland Blossom. Leyland? My bad. Leyland Blossom. But naturally, the opponents you encounter will grow stronger. Adventure rank. Assistion quest. Sometimes you need to complete an assistion quest. Okay. Cool, I guess. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Wait, what? Why is it showing me again? Oh, I gotta click on the damn thing. Call Paimon. Oh. Are you gonna give me a tutorial for this? Current party, party one, re-edit. I don't need to do anything there. Wait. I'm pressing, I'm pressing X to look at the controls. Uh, do I click on my character? What the fuck? Oh, I forgot. That's why I was so confused. Alright, never mind. You can't move in the fucking, uh... You can't move in the goddamn menu with the directional pad. You gotta move with the analog stick. That's why I was so goddamn confused. Alright, so what the hell did Paimon want me to do? Do you want me to, like, level up or some bullshit? <laughs> Mail? What's this about? PS4 exclusive rewards. Okay. Release exclusive rewards. Expires. Well, I guess I'll take them then. I mean, there's no point in not taking it, right? Inventory. See, charge attack grants 50% chance to deal 200% attack and dam attack as damaged in a small AOE. Okay. Hmm. How do I equip it? Refine. Enhance. Details. No items. Adventure's experience. Character material gives experience. Beneficial journeys into the unknown. I guess I'll take it then. You know what? Actually, apparently we can unlock other characters. At least that's what I'm assuming anyways. So I'll save that for when I find a character that I really like. Or if I get a character I really like. Okay. There's two character things. There's one. Right. Then what's the other one for? Alright. Check out character stats and attributes. Okay, so this is where I would use the level up stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Profile. About windmills. Alright, I think... Feedback? Can I bitch to people? Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> there's a direct feedback thing. Alright, well I guess I gotta head this way, cause there's a- ooh, fish. Come here. Come here, fish. I need you for food. Alright. So there's a fucking waypoint over here. 
God, there are people in my house screaming for no reason. Look at that! It's some what the fuck is that thing? I was trying to say, look at this over here, this fucking this this moblin camp. Is there a crouch button? I don't think there's no sneaking in this game. But look at this. Look at this moblin camp. That was great. Can I lock on to you guys? How do I lock on to you guys? I don't think I can lock on. But I can do this. I guess it's a soft lock? Now that I have defeated the camp, what's this about? Obtaining energy, combat knowledge, absorb elemental orbs and elemental particles to replenish energy. What energy? I don't use energy when I when I fucking attack with basic as attacks. I don't use energy when I swing my sword. The hell are they talking about? Guess I'll pick up all this shit. Is there anything in here? Apples. Alright. Pick up the cabbage. Alright. Let's move on over here. See what this bullshit's about. I wish there was a way for me to zoom out my camera. I don't like it this close to my character in like an action game. Hey look, it's a boar! Aw, oh, damn it. It's gonna run away from me, isn't it? Come here! Damn it. I have no ranged attack. Bird eggs. That's nice. Will I find the Master Sword? Look at what? Is it a fucking Hinox or whatever? Oh no, it's just more anime. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> oh no, my anime caused the anime to go crazy. What the hell was that about? That was close. Paimon almost got blown away. I wish you did. Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Good thing the dragon didn't notice us. I think that's exactly what the problem was. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Is talking to dragons normal? Of course not. I don't know, it might be. You're fucking fairy. You're not normal. Oh. Shut up. What's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Sure, why not? Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. The evil ominous red thing glowing with darkness. Crimson crystal. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before. So Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Okay. My rank went up. I didn't get eaten by a dragon, that's cool. I 
All right. Keep heading towards. Oh, never mind. Something's happening. Hey, you! Stop right there! Hey, look! It's waifu number one. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. Nah, I'm good. I don't. I'm not religious. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. Okay. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. I'm from another world, and she's a fairy. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Hello. It doesn't sound like a local name to me. It's not. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? Emergency food. Shut up, mascot. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Somewhat. Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. I mean, that dragon that's like blue and shit that didn't eat us. It's not far from it's here. It's cool, I guess. You there. Cool. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. I can, see my, I can keep myself safe. I got wind powers. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. It's a rather weird way to speak to me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. No, no, I think that's probably the exact thing you should probably say as a knight. You know, keeping the peace and all that bullshit. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. I'm assuming you're not actually a knight. Type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Outrider Amber, reporting. Oh, switch to Amber. Always energetic and full of. Oh, I couldn't read that fast enough. So we do get other characters. That's cool. For aim mode. Oh, she's an archer. Bam. That's awesome. Oh, I gotta shoot that thing. Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, oh can I shoot that family? bird? Huh. Damn it. Uh, okay, Aiming is not. Let me finish my it's not my strong first, suit. And then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. What's that funky looking thing up there? Uh, a hilly turtle. Quick, get it! Huh. Got that bitch. Still alive? These monsters have been getting cool. too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. Shit. There you go. Camp cleared out. Easy. Huh, nothing to it. Though I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. You mean how I did like all the work? Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Barely yeah, anything. You mention it. How is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. Storm Terror. Wow. That's a name. 
fucking basic ass name if I ever heard one. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries. So the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Sounds like the work of Calamity Ganon. Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. I think I can handle myself, but thanks for the assistance. Combat knowledge. About Pyro. Alright, Pyro tax cause. Who's that cool guy in that picture? Wow. Um, come affected by Pyro when Pyro meets other elements. Author triggers an elemental reaction. Ooh. Aim shots are greater for making precision attacks on enemies' weak spots. Oh, okay. Cool. For most humanoids, aim for the head. Alright. This is a free-to-play game. So far, it's actually really good, not gonna lie. But I'm waiting for the kicker. I'm waiting I'm waiting for someone to kick me in my side and say, Yeah, but here's here's the bullshit. Here's the pay to win bullshit you have to deal with. Cause this is also co-op, which is really interesting. Does she have any other attacks? No. Oh. That's pretty cool. Can I hold it? No. Oh, what the hell is that thing? I wanna kill it. Did I get it? Is it dead? Oh, foul. Nice. What the hell is this? Is that a bomb? Does it distract enemies? What the? Oh! Okay. Well, that's cool. Huh. Did it? Oh, I hit myself. Wow, I just realized that. Place elemental skills. So elemental skills produce different effects depending on whatever you press or hold them. Okay. I'm sorry, who the fuck is that? Who are you? What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No. No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Okay. Eat before you go, the first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Yes, that's true. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. I can only make simple dishes. That's okay. Let's see what you can do. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Man, I wonder what goes in the chicken mushroom skewer. Is it... Let, let's not have the woman do the cooking. If anime has told me anything, the truth about women and their cooking is that they actually don't know how to cook. All right. Oh, wait, hold up. What the fuck just happened? What did I just do? Oh, so you don't have to, like, you just carry the ingredients. You don't have to, like, physically put them in like it's breath of the wall. Okay. Um, proficiency? Cook, select character. Oh, which character has more proficient cooking? Well, none of them really do, so... Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. How do I, uh, how do I select what? Oh, R3. No, oh, shit. Got to press square. Is it done? Oh my god, what the fuck are people good. doing? They're like moving furniture and shit. Let me try. Hmm. Oh, 
That's really tasty. You're indeed gifted. Prima Why thank you. So. With your culinary skills, you should try What the hell are these people this. doing in my house? I'm sorry, give me a second. So I am back now, right? And the reason why everyone's making a bunch of noise in the background is because uh, one of the people that I live with, they're getting ready to move out, like in the upcoming months or so. So, so they're, you know, packing everything up and stuff like that. So unfortunately, there's going to be some noise in the background. I apologize for that. Um. Also, this is why I don't, that's why I usually don't stream in the daytime. Anyways. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon. Fuck you, Paimon. You're like my least favorite right now. <laughs> She's not that bad. It's just, you know, the anime. The anime is too anime for my levels of anime. Alright. So I guess this is the town I'm supposed to be heading in. Oh. Shoot one of those birds. Damn it. Hello. What are you doing outside? What am I doing scaring the pigeons away? <laughs> There's not much I can do about that now. They'll be back. Goodbye. They'll be back. They do come back usually. But what happens if one day they leave and never come again? Just like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! Well, bye. Good luck with that. Wow, someone's got abandonment issues. Hey, man, join the club. <laughs> join the club. Oh, Jesus. All right. Welcome, traveler. How can I help you? Tell me about this place. Known as both the Crown of the North and the City of Postural Song. A uh, Pastoral Song. My bad, Postural. What the hell am I saying? There are no words that can truly describe the beauty of this city. How about beautiful? I think that's a word. A new bard arrived in the city long ago. You should seek him out if you feel the true essence. Alright. But the songs he plays are a bit archaic. Songs date back to thousands of years. Alright. You come to the right person. It's said that a righteous hero often appears that night, but no one knows his true identity. We call him the Kamen Rider. <laughs> I should stop there, or else I'll keep talking about him. Alright. Sorry, guess I'll talk to you next time. That's okay. So what the hell am I doing here? Welcome to Kakariko Village.
It's a free-to-play game. I'm waiting for the kicker. So far, things have been pretty good. Yeah, so much for freedom, right? Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. Hope she knows something about the God of Animo. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. Ooh, presents? It's a I like presents. for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. You mean for doing all the work? Yeah. Hey, why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Because you did nothing. Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy, Sticky Honey Roast. Now that they say that, I want to, like, order some honey chicken from, like, Chinese place. Shit tastes so delicious. Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. Why does she stutter when she says that? Why does she stutter while saying that? Oh, I got a bow. Wait, wait. She gave me a reward, which is equipment for her. So she basically just rewarded herself. What the fuck? That's fucked up. You're fucked up for that. That's cool. I like your style. Well, Paimon, the reward's not you because it'll be useless for you. It's for him. It's useless for me, too. The usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. Alright, I can barely see the fucking map. And by barely see, I mean just like the color of the map is so bright that I can't even see where the fuck my, uh... Oh, map and teleport. Yeah, I know that. Actually, on the map it should show me my, my objective. Select the teleport waypoint. Yeah, I know. I know how that works. I'm looking for my objective. Where the fuck do I actually go? Don't know why it's telling me to teleport if I'm literally right there, but... Yeah. Elemental reactions. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro when hydro and other elements is often triggered. Elemental reaction. Alright, cool. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by... Wait, what? Okay. Alright. It's just showing me, like, diff- Alright. Um. That's cool, but, like, where do I- I have no objective right now. Edit birthday. I'll do that later. Quest. Huh. There we go. I can climb this. I'm a fucking thief of the night. I did it. I'm such a badass. Alright, what's over here? Can I climb over this wall? I'll do it. I'll do it. You can't stop me. I should have enough. Yeah, I got more than enough stamina to climb this wall. Town defenses be damned. This reminds me of when I played Breath of the Wild, right? 
and I just ran straight to Hyrule Castle, scaled the walls like a monster. So, the present I want to give you is... I thought you gave me the present already. A wind glider. Oh. Oh, a paraglider. Thanks. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. Uh-huh. I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away. Uh-huh. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. <sighs> Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. The wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. That's why when the storms come, they fuck up our crops. It's easy to so use much for the goddess of the wind, huh? My instructions. Okay. Move forward. Press X while airborne. Oh! He gave me the wings of Icarus. Okay. This is anime as fuck. I'm over here on my Sephiroth shit. Hey, look, it's wind. Don't worry, your goddess will take care of it. Right? That's how that thing works. Do your worst, dragon. The goddess of the wind is on our side. Guys, what are you running away from? It's just a little bit of wind. Don't worry, it's just wind. The goddess is on our side. God damn it. So much for the goddess of the wind, huh? These loading screens are fucking terrible. <laughs> huh? Oh! How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I don't know. With the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. Power of a thousand winds? Okay. You know, I was bullshitting when I say, you know, the wind is on our side, but I guess it is on our side. Thanks, mysterious voice. Maybe goddess, who knows. I'm just killing this majestic creature with magic. Just, just killing it. It's not, it's not fighting back. <laughs> I feel bad about it. Come on, buddy, you're level 10. Fight back, do something. Stop crying in pain. Do you think that mysterious shard on its neck is causing it to be evil? That's just a hunch I have. It, you know, it stands out. Looks like it's a weak point. God damn, these loading screens are terrible. They did not fucking spend forever on that loading screen just to give me that. Wow. Well, at least they have the fucking the Digimon symbols on the loading screen. And look, the the fucking flame of courage, bullshit of wisdom, something about joy, something about love and pride. It's been forever since I watched Digimon. God damn it. <laughs> 
No. It surprisingly decided not to fight back. And who are you? You look evil. You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Are you evil or good? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? No, I think she just introduced us. Your name's Kaya. I'm the Traveler. Hi, oh, how right. you doing? This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. Oh, really? You sure he's not evil? He looks evil. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Are you really that suspicious of me, man? I guess. I am, well, I guess. I am kind of mysterious. Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. Oh, do you? I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Why am I getting a Seto Kaiba vibe from this guy? Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? Uh-huh, like yours. What's under that eye? Is it like the power of the demon? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. <laughs> so, uh, where's the reward? That's He's like, yeah, that's cool and nice, whatever. Sa uh, safety, freedom, whatever. Pay me. <laughs> your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. You sure about that? They all ran away. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. How does... How does he know about me if I just got here? Or a new storm. Alright, open shortcut. Go to character. Go to dressing room. Oh. Well. That's cool. I like these. I like these ones. They're stylish. Can I, like, change my clothing, though? Is that it? I can't change my clothing? That sucks. Alright. So, this way, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh, so that didn't hurt me. But the other jump did. I guess because I'm inside town. Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to jump down, was I? Shit, damn it. Wait for my stamina to come back, then I'll climb the wall. I'm still waiting for the kicker, you know? It's a free-to-play game. There's gotta be something here. Something to sucker you in. So far, it's been nothing but a pretty decent-ass game. The Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. Alright. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for someone to just come and kick me in the stomach and just be like, yes, you played thus far, now pay me. Pay me money, traveler. What the fuck? I swear to God, it sounds like these people are just like flipping the house upside down. Oh, hey, are you the acting captain? Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Hey, guys. Look at this team of anime people. I'm really liking this game. And once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. 
Damn, Jean. You're thicker than a snicker. I'm Jean, acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. Hey, Lisa. You look pretty cool. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? Oh, so let me guess. She's the fucking magic user that's just gonna flirt with us 24-7? Oh, God. <laughs> You're both so adorable. Uh -huh. Okay, see, there we go. Yep, alright. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Uh huh. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full blown breakout. If it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Uh, I guess we leave... Wait, what? guess we leave it up to you then. Where's the end? Hey, don't be such a slug. We should be a part of this too. Shut up. Damn it, Paimon. Can't you see I'm trying to freeload as much as possible? Good. In that case, we need a plan. Hey, I didn't agree to no plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Should I tell these people I saw, like, some kid talk? Well, kid. I say kid fucking. I don't even know how old these people are. Fucking. I saw some dude talking to the dragon. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. What about the last one? I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. I actually don't. Simon doesn't. Eh, must be a local thing. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right. We need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. I mean, the situation already escalated. Your town got ransacked. Wish. Wish feature has been unlocked. I wish I can fucking re- Okay. Shop. What the hell is the wish feature? Excuse me? Wait, what? Wait, what's going on? Wait, every 10 wishes is granted for including at least one four star or higher character. Wait, so we unlock characters this way? And weapons? Oh, look at these cool motherfuckers. Every 10 wishes is granted to... How the fuck does this work? Wait, hold up. No. I'm confused. Begin beginner's wish. You get the character. Right? Chances ran in twenty. Wait, what? How does this work? They didn't even let me read the damn thing. Wait. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Mail. Impact player preference survey. All right. You'll get 50 Primo gems for completing the survey. Okay. Well, let's let's do it. I I guess. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see what the survey is. All right. Okay. Such as your nickname will be collected. All right. Information to survey as age, gender, status. Okay. okay. Well, I'll do this on my own time if I'm handing out information like that. All right. But can someone explain to me what the fuck this wish feature does? Is this the only way to get characters? 
I seem to have 10 wishes. Wait, what? Okay, hold up. I have, wait, what? What's the difference between one wish or 10 wish? What? Standard wishes have no time limit. View details for more. All right, well, maybe this will tell me how the fuck wishes work. Wish details, all right. Non-promotional characters and weapons are available in this wish. Each 10 wish set is guaranteed to include at least a four star item. All right, base probability of winning five star items. Uh-huh. Okay, but here's the thing. Let's say I don't care about items and I only care about characters. Do I just get the character? I'm so confused. Five star promotional characters can only be obtained in specific wish during the specific time periods. What? Is this a promotional character? Alright, well, I'm gonna... We have Venti here. I'm so fucking... Confused. The Dark Side of Dawn. Dandelion Knight. Alright, well... Huh. What the fuck is this? 20 days, 20 days. This doesn't seem to have any limit on it. And neither does this. So I'll look into that later. I'm highly confused as to what the hell that's all about. But it seems like that's the kicker, right? You want more characters? Pay me. Which isn't too bad, I guess. If it's just characters? I mean, sure, why not? I guess I'll read up on those later. Hmm. Can I look at this map? Nope. Alright, well... Let's see what uh, Jean has to say. Except in our invitation. How do we fight Storm Terror? Are all knights as strict as Amber? I heard you and Outrider I heard Amber you had and... a misunderstanding. Oh. <laughs> misunderstanding? What misunderstanding? Please forgive her. She was just doing her job. I don't think it was a misunderstanding. Talk to Amber sometime. I'm sure you'll like how energetic she always is. No, she's cool. I got no problem with Amber. Wanna team up with me? Uh, I should warn you though, I don't slow down for anyone, Greenhorn or otherwise. Let's all do our best to defeat Storm Terror. Wait, she's not on my team no more? Is that what's happening? Oh wait, no, she is on my team. Then why is she asking? Lisa, talk to me. Shit. I'm a librarian, do you need any... <sighs> need anything? How do we fight Storm Terror? I'd like to know more about the monsters. Yeah, sure. The monsters out in the wild? We've got many resources here in the library. Aha, uh -huh, I picked it all up. Making good use of elemental advantages is the key to winning any battle. By the way, would you be interested in having a part-time job here? Maybe. Depends on what it what it is. We need people to oh, need people for doing we just need more people. Oh, so you want me to be a knight? Eh, sure, why not? You're not bad with that wind glider. Your gliding style seems familiar. How'd you get that eye patch? My eye patch. Want to hear my story, eh? Yeah, kind of. I didn't have time to introduce myself properly. 
Well, it wasn't on my mind to begin with. Yeah, I bet it wasn't. It wasn't on my mind either. <laughs> my apologies. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain for the Knights of Favonius. We can talk more after we get things sorted. Damn it. I know a great place more fit for a chat. That sounds like you want to fight me. You want to fight me? He w he wants to fight me. He totally wants to fight me. He wants to test his strength on me. All right. Well, let's talk to Amber again. Want to team up with me? Uh, I should warn you though. Gene seems pretty reliable. Gene by our side, nothing can stand in our way. At least that's what I want to say. But I can't keep spouting that same old line. She always dashes headlong into the heat of the battle, and we want her to take better care of herself. She sounds I really super cool. Hope that one day I can look Jean in the eye and tell her she doesn't need to worry anymore because we have her back. Okay. Well, can I get any of you to join join up? Jean, you want to join up on me? Huh. Thanks again for your help. Well, Maybe they'll join up later. Melt amplifies the damage of the attack that produces it. Pyro attack receives a greater damage boost than cryo attacks. Hmm. Good to know, I guess. So fires the heavy hitter. Is there earth elementals? Is earth elemental gonna be like fucking defense base or some bullshit? Alright. The adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. Or, or, listen to this, Paimon. Or we can just go and fight things. And fuck being prepared. That sounds like a better idea. Let's go do that. Oh, wow, I ran straight towards the blacksmith. Well, since I'm here, I might as well check it out. Why? Excuse me, sir. I'm here for business. You don't got to be such an asshole about it, all right? I want to find a weapon for Paimon. This is the first Paimon's heard about it. Huh. What, so you want Paimon on the front line now? Paimon, if I have to carry my weight, so do you. You stop me from freeloading, I'm going to stop you from freeloading. She's free a tiny one, isn't she? They need to be purpose-built. Wow, he does bespoke weaponry? Of course. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Where do I get Anywhere, it from? Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Okay. Bring some back, and I'll help you forge what you need. Great, thanks. No need. I have other things to do. Don't I already have ore on me? Like a short... All right. Aren't you going to find shelter? I like to ask about something. I bet he's business oriented, right? I'm going to ask him this. You're going to be like, what? And walk away from the business of war. It'll take much bigger storms. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Bring the materials, let's have a look. Alright. Enhanced ore. Forge forge cues. I see. Oh, this cool weapon. White blind. Hmm. All right. Well, let's get on with our bullshit. Look at all these shining lights everywhere. 
Did I not pick that up? Give me the mint. I wish there was a fucking... Is there really a need for stamina? For running? Like, I understand if there's, like, a raid or something happening and, like, you need to, like, use stamina to run outside of an AoE or something. But just, like, traversing the world... When did you want it to be fat? Who the fuck? <sighs> what? Let's not talk to Amber with Amber. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Its own temple? Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Eh? Eh? Wait, did you just feel that? No. The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Okay. Look at this temple. It totally isn't ripped from Zelda. Deep within the Temple of the Falcon. Oh, so these are dungeons. Okay. And then this is when you would ready up with your friends and stuff, I guess. Oh, you have multiple parties going? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let's start. This is just making me want to go and play Final Fantasy XIV, not gonna lie. <laughs> I have to level up my other classes in that. All the way to level 80. God, that's gonna be fun. And by that I mean it's not. You can okay. use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Amber has the ability to aim shots, uh, to aim and shot, uh, aim and shoot, not aim and shot, what am I saying? While aiming her arrows will become immaculated charge, uh, once fully charged, arrow will be imbued with pyro. Use pyro to ignite things. Yeah. I guess like, well, there's no reason burning that. Use element sight to see the elemental attributes of different objects. The element had their own color. Green symbolizes Dindoro. What? Which can be ignited by Pyro. Opponent's wooden shields are attribute of Dindoro, which I don't know what the fuck that means, but I guess it's just wood. Which can be ignited. Okay. So how do I... Oh. My bad, didn't mean to do that. So I would just do that, and they'd be like, ignite this bullshit. Right? Right? Do I step on it? Attacks when a shield set on fire. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Oh, no, a horn. The 
and I've prepared my secret weapon, Explosive Puppet Buried Bunny. Wow, I threw that without even guessing. Alright, well she's pretty cool to use. Also, I like how the music is just straight up ripped out of Breath of the Wild. Sounds like I'm fighting one of the fucking, uh, whatchamacallits. Oh wow, blow that up. Fuck. Bet you can't keep up with me. Hmm. Okay. This has fire. Can I shoot it? Oh. Isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it. Combat knowledge. I'll read that. Upcurrents can send you soaring up in an instant. Just jump on it, open up your wing glider, and enjoy the ride. Wait, hold up. When pyro meets. Alright, triggers burning, which deals power damage. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I pretty much gathered that. Dragon's breath! Is that where the power is coming from? Great, let's smash Ew, it. I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. I didn't even know I was supposed to do that. I just shot it out of curiosity. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. Wow, Jean sounds pretty cool. When can I hang out with her? But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. Did you come up with that? It's what Lisa likes to say. All right. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history, it's just... You're foggy on it? I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? She's not lying. Challenge complete. Fine or bullshit. All right, and then I guess this is where you would stand here and emote to people and be like, "We did it! Thanks, guys!" And then you fucking head out. Leave the domain, dominion. My bad. Eh, game's not bad. I like it. I would like to see more of this. I just, I wonder what the fuck that wish feature is about. I fucking wish I knew more about the wish feature. You know what? I'm gonna look it up on my phone right now. So I know what the fuck is going on with this bullshit. Wish slash gotcha system. Uh, 
Okay. I feel like running. Okay, so I... Okay, <laughs> wait, hold up. So... Do you get the care? Alright, this is confusing as fuck. I don't play gotcha games, so I don't know how this works, but I'm seeing shit that says like... No one escapes my sights. Did I just unlock this? Did I always have this ability? I think I just unlocked this. Um... I'm seeing things saying that, like, you gotta, you gotta get the same character to level them up or whatever, which, you know, I expect that in a gotcha game, whatever. But I'm not seeing anything that says you unlock the character through it. Let me take another fucking look at this. Need to require currency that is used to purchase, which is from, if she us from like peculiar this. banners. Each of these banners can be found in the character menu, and depending on which one you purchase from, will give you different chances to earn particular characters in the game. There's only four unlockable characters, and the rest you have to do through a gotcha system. Okay, so you only get one guaranteed... Only get one guaranteed character and the rest is luck-based. Except for the four that you just unlocked through playing. What? I'm so confused. So I think she's guaranteed. Skyrider sword. Barbara. So she's guaranteed and the other people are luck based. Oh, I got Jean. So this is the fucking... Learn from the world... Learn the word idol from a magazine. She's an idol. Okay. So, the, the shit that I'm seeing is from, like, the beta. And in the beta, apparently, Jean was just unlockable through playing. But I guess you can get her in the gotcha system, too. Okay. All right. Guaranteed to include at least one four star character or higher item. So, okay, I get it now. So every time you spend at least 10, right, you're guaranteed to get either a high level item or a character. Of four star or higher. Uh, 
Okay. All right. I see now. Hmm. Well, this guy up here, Fire Dude, Deluce, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I definitely want that dude. All right. So it's all just gotcha system shit. That's the kicker. You get this good-ass game, right? You know, I'm not into giving, like, whatchamacallit, numbered rankings or whatever. But I would put this at a good, like, 7 or 8, like a good 7 to 8. Like, fucking, like the first, like the first Mirror's Edge or, like, fucking, uh, um, Dead Space, right? 7 and 8 is not bad. But this is the kicker. Alright. An additional... are needed to purchase. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. With pyro gems. Redeem pyro gems. Genesis crystal. What the fu- I'm so confused. A Genesis crystal equals one pyrogen. Okay. I'm so confused. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so confused. What the fuck? Alright, so you do use certain currency to get another currency to buy another currency. Go to Crystal Top Up page. Is that the fucking microtransaction page? Oof. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, yeah. This is where the gotcha shit comes from. Oh, yeah. That's where they... That's when they kick you in the dick. That's exactly where they get you. So what the fuck is this about? Redeem pyrogems. Pyrogem quantity. I want one pyrogen. It would consume a hundred... Genesis crystals. What the fuck? Then why does it say I have 117 of whatever the fuck is that down there? I don't know. Combat knowledge. See? Elemental burst. No, using elemental burst consumes all of the character's energy. Alright, that sounds cool. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there are some attacks that take energy. Oh, yeah, definitely. Huh, what is this? Like a defense install? Huh. I can't go back to glory like this. You wanna you wanna fight me, motherfucker, or are you just gonna keep sitting there? Alright, you're the worst. Come here. Come on, pop up from the ground, you piece of shit. Elemental shield absorbs damage for a character, but sustains too much damage and the shield will fail. I missed. 
What gets you to pop out the grass? Piece of shit. Come here. How am I missing? There you go. See? Now you're dead. Alright. Well. Characters. Hmm. Party set up. Alright, well let's see, um... Switch you out for Jean. I want to see what Jean's about. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. Uh... Was that supposed to be, like, ranged or something? What the hell is that about? Let's see if I can find an enemy. She runs pretty fast. Level 9, which will probably kick my ass. Alright, wait for this cooldown to set off. I want to see, um... Is this supposed to be ranged? No, not really. It's just a charged attack. She's like a sorcerer. Let's dance. What's this about? Is this the elemental shield or is this elemental reactions? Elemental reactions swirl. When animal meets certain other elements, it is triggered swirl. Swirl can deal elemental damage. Effect being can generate further element. Okay. Huh. I can definitely, definitely, unfortunately, see myself getting trapped in this game. <laughs> it's just like, but this character's cool, but I want that character. Well, I only have this character because they look cool. I don't actually play as them, right? And then I assume over time they're gonna add more stuff, you know? Damn! Anime, huh? The power of anime. Who would have thought? Wow. I really like Jean. She's cool. Let's see what Barbara can, can do. Let's see if I can find some enemies for her to dispose of. Is this an enemy? What is this? Mysterious beings called seals, uh, or sealies, or whatever the fuck. Sealies. Yeah. Can be found scattered across the fucking world. Follow them and help you get found destination. Perhaps something special might happen. Sure, why not? Gonna show me something cool? What's up with this rock? Oh! Oh, you son of a bitch. Immune, because it's water. Okay, cool. Oh, and that's just a nice little barrier to help me out. Alright. Well, can I... Does that pause the world, or are they still attacking me? Seems like it pauses the world. Alright, cool. Can't change party while in combat. Understandable. Hmm. All right. Cool. 
Let's see. I'm still in combat? How am I still in combat? It's because of this motherfucker? Oh, you're a piece of shit. Come on. Come on, get back up. There we go. Combat finished. Alright. I'm on fire. How do I... How do I get the fire off of me? Note to self. Running through fire, don't do it. You can be hurt by your own fire. Alright. Well, we see what Jean can do, right? I will protect you. Okay. Let's see with, uh... Noelle? I believe that's how you pronounce your name? Let's see what Noelle can do. Am I in combat? It's playing combat music, like I'm in combat. Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the Statue of the Seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. It's a statue of the seven. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Hmm. Okay. Worship statue. Why not? Oh. I see. Okay, and I assume that's per character, and not overall. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely not a bad game. It's just that the gotcha system is slowly working its way into other genres. Ooh, this is gonna... I foresee some big headline in the future talking about how this fucking is killing people's wallets. But then it'll be justified because at least with every 10 wishes that you make, you're guaranteed a good item or character. Alright. Well, shit. There has to be like a way... I assume there has to be a way to get like wishes for free. Which might just be doing dungeons and stuff. So, hopefully it's not too bad, right? Wow. Okay. So, this game definitely stole some shit from Breath of the Wild, but not too much shit, I guess. Just the open world aspect. Huh. That's really interesting. This is really interesting. I'm going to see, on my own time, I'm definitely going to see if I can get some people to play this with me and fucking uh, fuck around with that and see how, how it all works together. But for now, I think that's it with this. This is an interesting game. Um, I'm actually really excited to see how it turns out over time. I have a feeling this game is going to have a big following. So, MMOs are on the rise. God damn it. Another game that sucked my life energy. But that's it. So, I'm going to end the stream here. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, I'll probably put this on YouTube. You know? Um, but until then... Well, I say until then, but tonight... Definitely going to be streaming at the regular time. Uh, going to be continuing Folklore. Because I actually want to continue that game. It's just that last night I wasn't able to stream because I was just so fucking drained with everything. So, once again, thank, thank you to everybody who came to the stream, checked it out. I'm losing my voice currently. And for people on YouTube, thank you for watching, helping out the channel, so on and so on. Etc. Etc. Subscribe, blue, blue, uh, subscribe, comment, whatever. Can you tell that I'm tired? Um, 
and click the bell, I guess. I don't know. And if you're somehow new to the channel for watching this anime shit, hi, welcome. I stream things in the, in the description below, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. I promise nothing from all of this. And at the end of the day, all my content is trash and you probably can find something better to do with your life. But hey, that's just a theory, a game theory. All right, now goodbye. I'm leaving. Uh, thanks for watching all the other bullshit. Catch you at the regular stream times. And yeah, I'm going to go to sleep now. I am so deprived of energy. Everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.